Chelsea leads the show here. All right. Good morning, everybody. So I want to go back about 18 months. Um, when I first interviewed for this job, I went into the interview, and the first thing the governor said to me, and I'd never met with him before, is he said, tell me about what you think, or tell me what you think about tourism in West Virginia. It was a hard question. You could take that in a lot of different directions, and honestly, I wasn't really sure when he wanted me to tell him. So I kind of stuttered around for 30 seconds or so, and then I finally said, well, Governor, I've dug into the research. I've looked at all the occupancy numbers, the revenue, everything that we've got, and what I found is that tourism, our numbers are dropping. We had seen traveler spending drop for five years in a row at that point. But what I also told him is I wasn't afraid of the challenge because I knew that the state had tremendous potential. And that potential was the focus of the rest of the meeting. So to be honest, the next hour I spent most of the time listening. The governor did a lot of the talking and he told me about his vision for West Virginia. He told me how he thought we could grow jobs and investment. I left that meeting with pages and pages of notes and a lot of excitement. Then I got a call a few days later letting me know that, he would, that I was going to be fortunate enough to join the team, and we immediately hit the ground running. And I mean immediately. Before he was sworn in, we had already started meeting and talking about what we were going to do. So now fast forward 18 months later, I still have those meetings with him. I met with him just earlier this week. We meet regularly, and those meetings are what led to the campaign launch on April 11th. It was the culmination of all that hard work. So today, we're here to celebrate the results of the campaign. What we're going to see today is the results show that the governor's new approach is working. Advertising works. There's a reason it's a $192 billion industry, and it works even better when you have a great product like our state. So we've got a long way to go. And I believe today is only going to be the beginning of something extraordinarily. The governor may be too modest to tell you all this, but I can tell you that his personal expertise, both in tourism and marketing, is reflected in every single piece of this campaign. The early success we're seeing is a direct result of his involvement. So at this point, I'm going to turn it over to him and let him give you some good news. Governor? Well. I'd come over there, but I'm not. I'm going to just sit right here and talk to you. First of all, Chelsea's right. I've done all of this. <laughs> no, I'm just teaching. Chelsea's done great work. I see board members here. I see people that are really involved in the effort to really change our footprint in a lot of ways. I see a great, great friend here, Steve McDaniel. And Steve struggled a little bit lately with some medical issues that he's getting behind him and everything, and I love him being here. And, uh, but but I, I really just want to just say this before we get into the numbers and all this kind of stuff. What, think about what the effort has been. Just think, think about what you have around you here. Think about how good of people you are. Think about how many people are within a rock's throw of us and could come here, and yet they weren't. Think about just the fact that we have the opportunity beyond belief, and we don't hit it out of the park somewhere. And that's going to rain. <laughs> and I love the rain, too. But nevertheless, this young lady is a true diamond in the rough. And she's done greatness beyond belief. I see a lot of the people right here that are in uniform that work here and do the great work here every day. You make us proud. That's all there is to it. At the end of the day, you make all of us proud and you know how good you are and you know how great this state is. Now our challenge has always been, we've got to have the rest of the world know just how good we really are. That's what we want to do. So we come up with a new campaign, an almost heaven campaign. You know, a campaign that's going to basically be this, and I say it over and over and over. You're not much of a frog in this world if you're not proud of your own palm. You know, that's all there is to it. So we've got to be proud of what we've got. 
So we come out with this new campaign, and just look at these results. Now you've got to unveil this and everything. We'll start over here. We're going to start over here. Okay, now don't don't knock. It. All right. Now Chelsea can help me a little bit, but we do work and we do work often on all this stuff. Think about this. Our year-to-date occupancy has gone up 11.7%. Our daily average rate has gone up 2.1%. Our revenue has gone up 14.9%. Flip, flip, hey, do something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's now think about this, June to June, one year, one year, occupancy has gone up 16.1%. The national average, the national average has gone up 1.7%. We're 16.1%. The average, average daily rate, 3%, and our revenue's up 20%. Now, I'm not going to, I, you know, listen, I'm a farmer, too. I love the rain this time of year. But I'm not going to have all of you stand out here and get soaked. Inside, inside, inside. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> First of all, is this not beautiful, this cabin? I mean, is it not unbelievable? This is one of the cabins I guess see we remodeled. And it has. Is that correct? Brand new, guys. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. There was nothing up here. Okay, and, and uh, it's got four beautiful bedrooms. The neat thing about this is just this, is it's got, it's got so much West Virginia stuff in it. I even think it's got West Virginia soap in it. You know, and, and a lot of, just, just a lot of different things that, that resonate in West Virginia. You see, all this stuff works. It all really just works. That's the thing now. Let's just be fair. Now, I'm not tooting my horn in any way, but my MBA, my specialization in my MBA is marketing and advertising. I know this stuff, you know, and Chelsea knows and many other people know. But I know the things that will bring goodness to our state, and that's all in the world I want to do. You know, at the end of the day, I mean, people can cast all the stones they want to cast, but at the end of the day, I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that is bring as much goodness, as many job opportunities, get rid of the drug situations that are killing us, and do the things that make us better. Give us opportunity to keep our families together and to keep, you know, kids here in the state. Now, all of you that are West Virginians, you know this. And you know it just as well as I know my name. Your cousins or brothers or sisters or parents or grandparents or whatever, they had to leave or many of them left. And they left because they had to go get a job or they had to have hope somewhere. And every single one of us, black, rich, poor, white, whatever it may be, all of us are touched by this drug epidemic. So we need hope and we need jobs and we need to show ourselves off and we need results. My dad would have said to me over and over and over, son, don't confuse effort with accomplishment. Just because you work hard or you try hard, that isn't good enough. You've got to achieve. Now just think, we've still got a long ways to go. But these numbers are achieving. These numbers are real. These numbers are not hocus pocus stuff numbers. These numbers are put together, Chelsea just told me, by a group of... Smith Travel Research. They're the global company that compiles hotel-motel occupancy 
they take a survey of 58,000 properties in the U.S. So this is not our data, you can find it online. This is something, this is across the board, this is how everybody across the world actually compares hotel occupancy. And you know what's happening that's even better? It's happening all across West Virginia. It's just not happening where the, the gas industry's booming. It's happening all across West Virginia. This is exactly what we wanted to happen. From when we started, this is exactly what we wanted to have happen. Now, we've still got a long ways to go, but really and truly, when people start getting a taste of just what this state's all about, we hope they'll come and they'll bring their in-laws and outlaws, and I always say that teasingly, but uh, we hope they'll bring all they can and they'll just keep coming. I'll end up my, my little say by just saying this. You know, when I rolled into this job, and, and a lot of people can criticize, a lot of people say a lot of stuff, but when I rolled in on day one, you can like it or not like it, but this state was dead bankrupt. That's all there is to it. Now, we had a lot of effort, but we didn't have a whole lot of accomplishment. We'd had six straight years of cut budgets, cut budgets, cut budgets. Like it or not like it, I'm just telling you the truth. Now to do stuff, to do stuff like what we see right here, to what we see in the campaign, I'm talking about what we see in this fiscal cabin, what we see in this campaign, to do stuff in this state, you had to have success to be able to do it. To do the 5% pay raise for all the state employees, you had to have success to do it. You know and I know well that if, if all you had heard was things are bad, things are bad, well, I can't possibly expect a pay raise. I just hope I don't get another cut. Well, things are bad. We can't put any more money in tourism. Well, things are bad. We can't put three million dollars in the rate in the in the in the Jaeger Airport, but things are bad. So what we had to do first is find a way, find a way to turn it around. And once it turns like it's turned now, then you have monies available to do this kind of stuff. And here we go, here we go. So for crying out loud. Let's not get in our own way. For crying out loud, let's not screw it up. You know, this snowball is rolling down the hill and it's getting bigger and faster every single day. And as it goes and it gets bigger and faster, at some point in time, and I said this up at Jaeger the other day, at some point in time, nobody will be able to stop it. And the snowball will happen, and our families will be able to stay together instead of being broken up all over Atlanta and Charlotte and Denver and wherever. And our families will be the unit that made us what we are. You see, there may be somebody in this room that loves West Virginia as much as me, but there's nobody in this room nor in this state that loves West Virginia more. Our families our great beliefs and values, knowing the difference between right and wrong, knowing that we're faith-based, knowing that we're craftsmen, knowing that we're patriotic, knowing that we're dedicated to the military and all the different things we do, that's what made us. That's our fabric. The last thing I would say is just this. Over the years, and here's testimony to who we are, over the years, if there were big jobs in North Carolina, you know what happened? Here's exactly what happened. People that were had those jobs would go through the lines of people, and they would find, is there any West Virginians here? And if you raised your hand, you went to the front of the line, and you were hired because they knew how great you really are. Now, we just 
just had to have it start happening and bring it back to us. We got a superstar right here. You are all superstars. And at the end of the day, we're doing it. It's doing it. Now I'm turning it over to you. I've talked enough. Well, I just want to end by, again, thanking the governor. Um, I think this is the fourth tourism commission meeting of this new commission, and he's now attended every single meeting and been there with us. So I see folks on the commission here shaking their head. This is a huge deal that we have a governor who meets with me on a very, very regular basis, knows everything that we're doing, and is this involved with the commission. So thank you for putting your heart and soul into tourism. Well, I love it. I love it. We have so much possibility so much possibility in tourism and i thank all of y'all that are working on the commission and just doing all the stuff you do i mean you're doing great stuff i mean right now all i'm doing is kind of watering along behind but you're doing great stuff i'm really proud of you and last but not least to all of our industry partners and the folks who work here you know it, my job the job from the state perspective is to bring people to the state to get them here that first time but you all are the ones who get them to keep coming back. Our return visitation rate is amazing. 86% of people who come to the state come back. And that's not because of what we're doing. That's because of what you all are doing. You all give them such a great experience and offer so much hospitality that once we get them here, you keep them coming back. So thank you again for everybody being here today.